Hey everyone, welcome to Popular Cruising. I am your host, Jason Leppert, here with a review of The Sky Princess from Princess Cruises, in a new, more informative format that includes an on-camera introduction from yours truly, detailed ship specs, venues specifically mapped to deck plans, and a conclusion of pros and cons. So be sure to stick around until the end to enjoy it all. Speaking of specifications, the Sky Princess fits between the standard and upscale luxury lifestyles in the premium category. It is in the Royal class along with sister ships Royal Princess, Regal Princess, and Majestic Princess. It launched in 2019, has a tonnage of 143,700, and a guest capacity of 3,660, which amounts to a moderate passenger space ratio of 39.26. We had the pleasure of being on hand for the ship's christening on December 7th, 2019 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which began with a fascinating look at the ship previously under construction. By the way, if you haven't yet done so, now would be a great time to subscribe to our channel at the button and bell notification icon below. The ceremony was emceed by none other than Jill Whelan, who played Vicky Steubing, Captain Steubing's daughter in The Love Boat, who then introduced Godmother's Captain Kay Hire and Engineer Poppy Northcutt, both proudly of the U.S. Space Program, in addition to a sampler of the ship's onboard entertainment. before they blessed the ship and pressed the christening button to release the ceremonial bottle of champagne. Our private accommodations on board consisted of a balcony stateroom, which will certainly look familiar to past Princess passengers, and thanks in part to the plush Princess Luxury Bed gets our teddy bear thumbs up of approval. What really stood out for me though was a departure from what I would call the perpetual beige of the line's previous ships introducing much more pleasing and contemporary gray tones to mix it up. As always, we appreciated the balcony itself as a means to get some fresh air, as well as handy amenities back inside, particularly a convenient USB charging port not just at one nightstand, but both. Continuing towards the bathroom, you'll find Princess's usual walk-in closet, adjacent to the bathroom, which is still surprisingly standard. Unfortunately showcasing a small shower, enclosed by an anything but premium flimsy shower curtain. By comparison, here is a rendering of a larger mini-suite on board. As well as photos of the ship's new Sky Suite category. Which is ideal for families or groups looking for a central common area, divided by a full bedroom and bath on one side, and a luxurious master bedroom on the other. Complete with a sizable walk-in closet and a convenient multi-compartment bathroom with both a shower and a bathtub. But what really sets the suite apart is its expansive 270-degree wraparound balcony which, looking back, faces the movies under the star screen, as a very cool bonus occupants therein can even choose one of the films screened on it. When you're ready to book your cruise, we recommend doing so through our sponsor, Fairy Godmother Vacations, who will handle all your trip planning for free, adding even more magical value to your voyage. So to get your complimentary quote, click on the link right here, or in the description box. Or you can always contact them traditionally, with the information below. Activities aboard Sky Princess are anchored by Ocean Medallion technology. A complimentary watch size wearable for every guest that conveniently links via mobile app to the ship and its crew. Among its many features are the ability to unlock your cabin door automatically upon approach, plan all your daily events, play interactive games such as scavenger hunts, digitally shop, order food and drinks to your exact location, and easily find your way around. In fact, either at these portals or on your smartphone, you can route directions. And in so doing, never getting lost on board the ship again, nor losing track of your traveling companions. And in that very spirit, we're pleased to introduce our own deck plan tracker, highlighting exactly where every venue is, level by level, from the bottom up, starting with the piazza. Which, as you can see here, is the ship's magnificent central atrium. Just off from the piazza is the internet cafe, which doesn't get as much use as it once did, now that most passengers bring their own electronic devices. However, if you do opt to leave them home, you can still log in conveniently right here. Also radiating from the piazza are the guest services and shark excursions desks, where of course you can book tours or get other administrative assistance. 
Here we had a fun encounter with Stanley, Princess's adorable teddy bear mascot, which can also be purchased to take home with you. Next moving forward is the Lotus Spawn Salon. The Enclave seen here is a relaxing thermal suite that can be enjoyed by buying a limited number of available cruise passes. Besides the Philosotherapy Pool, there are various experience showers and other therapeutic rooms. Ranging from dry to very steamy. Before enjoying other a la carte treatments, there's a relaxation room to wait in, and of course several different treatment rooms themselves. Lastly, rounding out the facilities here is a full service salon. Immediately up one deck and rather contradictory to the health conscious spa is Churchill's, a thankfully enclosed cigar lounge. Not enclosed, however, is the Prince's Casino, where smoking is also allowed. Secondhand smoke notwithstanding, the space is well appointed for gaming, as well as grabbing a drink. Continuing down the way is a stretch of photo, video, and art galleries. For checking out images captured during your cruise, as well as now rather common Park West pieces available at auction. Meanwhile, across the way is the future cruise center for booking new voyages, the Captain Circle loyalty desk, and the first bit of the Shops of Princess, which also continue up onto Deck 7 through a fantastically designed retail boulevard that we find wonderfully reminiscent of earlier cruise ships. Skipping over some dining until a little later, we head next to Oceanfront. This is a helpful hub for learning more about Ocean Medallion and buying related accessories. Next door, Princess Live is reprised, but in a much redesigned fashion. Gone is Royal Princess's uncomfortable studio seating, in favor of a venue more akin to Princess's other open and airy explorer's lounges. Now heading up to Pool Deck 16, the Seawalk has also been repeated. On both sides of the ship, now extending more useful decking and loungers all the way out to it. But still affording the thrilling opportunity to step over a glass floor. One thing that was available on the Royal Princess and Regal Princess that we miss, however, are the pool deck show fountains. Right here in the center used to be the Princess Watercolor Fantasy Show, a small but fun Bellagio style fountain set to music. Alas, it is not to be found on the Sky Princess. But since the first of the sister ships, the added Wakeview Pool is definitely an improvement. But let's head up the stairs again. Also reconfigured this time around is the more sheltered retreat pool. A free, adults-only area. Including its terrace and whirlpools above. Further down on Deck 17 is the Fitness Center. With lots of Seaview exercise equipment. Ranging from stationary bikes, ellipticals, and treadmills, to even more in a dedicated motion studio. In partnership with the Discovery brand, the youth center on the other side of the ship is called Camp Discovery, encompassing a children's outdoor area and well-themed inside area for ages 3 to 7 called the Treehouse. Besides the appropriate jungle gym, there is also an area for arts and crafts, watching movies, and playing video games. Then slightly more mature in another room is the Lodge for ages 8 to 12. Featuring air hockey, skee ball, and more of a dance club vibe. Ski ball is also a favorite activity at the Beach House Teen Lounge for ages 13 to 17, where naturally there are also plenty of video game terminals, as well as a large indoor area to socialize. It's worth noting that the Teen Outside Lounge was not carried over to the Sky Princess, 
but up on Deck 18, the reservation-only sanctuary just for adults did make its way on board. Still showcasing a fantastic view, shaded loungers, private cabanas, and also a whirlpool. Unique to Deck 18 this time around is the oddly named and difficult to find experience center, which should really just be labeled according to what it hosts, the Phantom Bridge Escape Room. During our preview sailing, we didn't get the full experience, but a brief preview of the pay activity showed how interesting its blend of physical sets and digital interactivity is, encompassing multiple elements and video screens. And then just outside on the light of day is the surrounding Princess Sport Central. Since there is not a complete promenade deck below, this is the only full circuit jogging track. But it does encircle an inviting full-size center court. And just above on top deck 19 is the Greens Mini Golf. For the last bit of sports before we go ahead and get a bite to eat. Just like activities, we'll go deck by deck for dining, in reverse order from the top down, additionally pointing out which options are included in the cruise fare, as well as extra, starting with the sliced pizzeria and salty dog grill, both of which are mostly complimentary. A couple premium items such as the delicious Ernesto burger, however, are extra. Naturally, the mix bar in between, as well as the Seaview bar across the way, are extra, available to purchase a la carte or with a drinks package. But all buffet food at the World Fresh Marketplace is included. As you can see, there's quite the variety of favorites self-served here, including tasty ethnic dishes. Alternatively, for a specialty steakhouse experience, there's also the extra Crown Grill and Bar, below on Deck 7. If you're a steak connoisseur like myself, you'll not want to miss this one, as it definitely does feature some of the best cuts at sea. Next door, servicing Princess Live, is its namesake cafe. With extra cost coffees and other drinks. In addition to the poolside pizzeria upstairs, Alfredo's Pizzeria is a wonderfully included sit-down variety. Which has been relocated by a deck on Sky to feature an alfresco extension. Making for greater capacity to get even more savory pies out. Meanwhile, extra for premium sushi is the Ocean Terra Seafood Bar. Flanked by our favorite art installation on board, a collection of cute hot air balloons that also leads to Bistro Sous la Mer. An extra French seafood sit-down restaurant that is well worth the cost. The only negative is it's situated just off from the frequently noisy atrium. A quieter outdoor seating is also available. To enjoy creative, mouth-watering dishes like these, Then down one level on Deck 6 is Good Spirits at Sea, an extra bar that brings to life the Good Spirits television show with custom destination-inspired cocktails, as demonstrated live but sped up here. Making for even more entertainment value, it includes screening of related TV footage. before pouring and enjoying the resulting drinks. Always included are the main restaurants on board. Beginning with the Estrella Dining Room. Making it a little challenging to navigate to is the galley-separated Cielo Dining Room, which requires passing through Deck 7 before heading down. Nonetheless, this one does feature the special Chef's Table Lumiere. Lastly, rounding out the trio of main dining rooms is the Soleil one on Deck 5. This one also features a neat table, nestled within a wine cellar. For complimentary cuisine, courses at these three restaurants are quite good.
but not to be forgotten off the piazza is gelato, which although extra is now genuine and in fact Italian certified, resulting in some very creamy flavors. Or wine connoisseurs may prefer vines, an extra bar dedicated to various vintages. The handsome venue is just across the way from Princess's signature Bellini's Bar, where friendly staff serve extra drinks. And last but not least for free options is the included International Cafe. Where throughout the day you can get all sorts of pastries and sandwiches. Just in front is a final specialty restaurant in the form of Sabatini Strattoria for extra Italian cuisine. The sharply decorated venue serves equally delicious dishes. And as usual, let's finish up with entertainment. With not only great live music in the piazza, but also dancing and wondrous acrobatics. Entirely new to the Sky Princess is Take 5, another huge improvement over the previously dated Club 6. A marvelous jazz club that serves up artful drinks. As well as very talented tunes. It's not even the main theater, but the Vista Lounge may have made the biggest impression on us. What is ordinarily reserved just for cabaret acts features the awesome Jim Henson's inspired silliness. While we were requested not to film during the show itself, the pre-show displays just how adorable and hilarious the performance is. This is one professional puppet show befitting the name that you should arrive early at. But that's not to upstage the production shows in the Princess Theater, which also wonderfully include live music, and expert singing and dancing as in rock opera. This one definitely included some spectacular moments. But the one that stood out the most is Five Skies. As a very creative stage interpretation of a video game. With impressive sights and sounds all while telling an intriguing story. That goes well beyond just a review. Suffice it to say, Princess Entertainment has greatly regained our attention. With colorful costuming, dramatic pyrotechnics, bold choreography, amazing aerial acrobatics, and overall, performers with lots of heart. So bringing us to our conclusion of Sky Princess pros and cons, let's briefly list what we consider to be a pain in the aft. At this point in the game, small showers with flimsy curtains have got to go. We're also disappointed to see the pool fountains missing this time around, as we are also for a partial promenade deck. But what can definitely take a bow are the following. The outstanding Bistro Sur Le Mer specialty seafood restaurant, the Explorer's Lounge-like redesign of Princess Live, and the jazzy new Take 5 venue. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to our channel while hitting that bell icon to be notified of new ones, and if you would check out our other videos and visit popularcruising.com.